Lesson 18. I wish upon a star. Hopes and wishes. Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about hopes and wishes. These are things we want for the future, but maybe we can't really have them. First, we will talk about hopes, and then we will talk about wishes. But let's first review some vocabulary for the future and for imaginary situations. I want you to tell me ideas for the future you have or ideas about imaginary situations. Okay, do you understand? Yes. yes. All right, Sylvia, can you start? Money. Money. Good. What else? A good job. A good job. Very important. And? Love. Love. Okay. Peace. Peace. Children. Children. Good. What else? Health. Health. And? Clean water. Clean water. Good. Clean air. Clean air. Yes. A new car. A new car. Fly like a bird. All right. Fly like a bird. Okay. Be famous. Be famous. Yes. Okay. Win the lottery. Wow. High hopes for the future. Win the lottery. Good so far. Now let's have one more from each of you. Good friends. Good friends. Okay. And? Good English. Good English. All right. A long life. A long life. Okay, so let's review our list. We have money, a good job, love, peace, children, good friends, health, clean water, clean air, a new car, fly like a bird, be famous, win the lottery, good English, and a long life. These are all hopes for the future. Now let's talk about things that will really happen and things that we want to happen but might not or are imaginary. Okay, let's put these ideas into categories. Um, our two categories are things that might happen and things that might not happen. Okay, Alberto, you start. Well, money might happen. Okay, money might happen. Good. Okay, Linda? A good job might happen. Yes, might happen. Okay. Sylvia? Uh, love might happen. Love might happen. Good. And Linda? Mm, peace. I'm sorry, but it, not, it might not happen. Okay. Unfortunately, you're right might not happen. Okay? Mm, children might happen. Yes, good. Okay, you do the next one too, Alberto. Health might happen. Okay, health might happen. Um, Sylvia. Um, clean water might not happen. Mm, yes, might not happen. OK. 
Okay. And what about clean air, Sylvia? I think it might not happen too. Okay, good. Okay, Alberto. Mm, a new car might happen for me. <laughs> All right. That would be great. Linda, the next one. Mm, fly like a bird. It might not happen. Okay. <laughs> might not happen. Um, Alberto, uh, let's see, Sylvia. I think I won't be famous. Hmm, maybe. But we'll say might not happen. Okay, Alberto. Mm, win the lottery might not happen because I don't buy any tickets. Okay. Good. And Linda? Um, good friends might happen. I have good friends now. Very good. And Sylvia? Um, good English might happen. Actually, it will happen. I know. Good. And you do the last one too, Sylvia. A long life might happen. All right, very good. Now, here's our list. We have things that might happen. Money, a good job, love, children, health, a new car, good friends, good English, and a long life. Now, things that might not happen. Peace, unfortunately, clean water, clean air, fly like a bird, be famous, and win the lottery. Those things might not happen. Now, before we talk about our list, let's talk about sentence structure. We looked at sentence structure in level one, so let's look at it again. Basic sentence structure. If we have a simple sentence, for example, you are young. Remember, these are the parts of the sentence. Subject is you, right? Verb is are, and young is a complement. Complement refers back to the subject. Okay? So, this kind of sentence means you equals young. Okay? You are young. This is the other kind of sentence structure we, we know about. For example, we speak English. Okay, in this sentence, we have our subject, we. Our verb is speak, and English is our object. The subject does something with the object, but the subject and the object are not the same in this sentence. Okay, here's another sentence. Your friend likes you. So here, your friend is our subject. Our verb is likes, and the object is you. Your friend likes you. Okay, these are short sentences, but some sentences are longer, of course. So before, we saw some different sentences. Take a look at some examples. He likes apples, but he doesn't like bananas. Next example. He likes apples and he makes apple pies. Next example. He likes apples, so he often eats them. Those sentences are a little bit different. They're longer. Okay, remember, we have these small words, but, and, and so. Okay, these are called connecting words. They 
join two sentences to make one sentence, connecting words. Okay, each part of the sentence is called a clause. The most important part of the sentence is the main clause or the independent clause. Okay, it is this main clause or independent clause is complete on its own. It doesn't need the second part of the sentence to make sense. Take a look at some examples. For example, we can say, he likes apples. We can also say, he makes apple pies. So those are two main clauses that make sense alone. Okay, this is the sentence we saw a little while ago. He likes apples and he makes apple pies. Now we have one sentence, but we also have two clauses. The two clauses are, he likes apples, second clause, he makes apple pies. Okay, this is like adding two plus two, except the answer is one. It makes one sentence. Okay, this is called a compound sentence. A compound sentence is two main clauses joined together by a connecting word like but, and, or so, and together the two sentences make one sentence. That's the compound sentence. Okay, you can break the sentence apart and have two complete sentences when you have a compound sentence. For example, he likes apples and he makes apple pies. So our two independent clauses are he likes apples, he makes apple pies. Now, we have also seen a few sentences that are a little different. Here's an example. He likes apples because they are delicious. This sentence has two clauses, but only one main clause. The main clause is, he likes apples. That part is complete by itself. We are left with, because they are delicious. This part isn't complete and can't stay by itself. It needs the other part, the main clause of the sentence, in order to make sense. So, when we have a second part or a part of the sentence that is not complete on its own, we call that a dependent, sometimes called a subordinate clause. Okay. We call this a dependent or subordinate clause because it needs the main clause in order to make sense. Okay, take a look at this. Because I like it. What? Well, we don't really know what the sentence is about. So, this dependent clause, because I like it, needs a main clause. Okay, let's look at the sentence. I play tennis a lot because I like it. Okay, now it makes sense. Now it's a complete sentence. This kind of sentence is called a complex sentence. So a complex sentence has a dependent or subordinate clause plus a main clause. Now, let's go back to talking about things that might happen in the future. For things that actually might happen, we use the verb hope. Here are some examples of how we can use hope to talk about things that might happen in the future. I hope I have money in the future. Dan hopes for a good job in the future. Now in the first sentence, we have two parts. 
First part is I hope. Second part, I have money in the future. Okay, we can also write it like this. I hope that I have money in the future. This part, that I have money in the future, is the dependent clause, and it's also the object of the verb hope. Now, let's look again at our list. Things that might happen, money, a good job, love, children, health, a new car, good friends, good English, a long life. All right, now let's make some sentences using hope as our verb. Linda, can you start? Okay. I hope that I have money in the future. All right. Can you do it another way? Okay. I hope that I have a lot of money in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. That is different, but can you do it another way? Okay. I hope for money in the future. Very good. Now, Sylvia, you do the next one. I hope for a good job in the future. Very good. Now, you know, you have to do it another way. Yes. I hope that I have a good job in the future. Good girl. Now, Alberto, it's your turn. Mm, I hope that I have love in the future. Oh, very sweet. What a romantic. Now, can you do it another way? I hope for love in the future. Oh, very good. I'm sure your girlfriend does too. Okay, Linda, back to you. Okay, I hope for health in the future. And I, I hope that I have good health in the future. Very good. Okay, Sylvia, this time use Alberto as the subject. Um, Albert, Alberto hopes for a new car in the future. Alberto hopes uh, he has a new car in the future. All right, right, Alberto. You do the next one. Use Linda as the subject. Um, Linda hopes that uh, she has good friends in the future. Linda hopes uh, good for good friends in the future. Very good. Of course, you are next. Uh, Sylvia, use we as the subject. Um, we, we hope we have, a go we have good English in the future. Um, we, hopes, we hope for good English in the future. Good job. I know you will certainly have good English in the future. And finally, Alberto, you finish. Use you as the subject. You hope for a long life. You hope that you have a long life. Yes, all right. Good job, everyone. Now I hope we all look and listen. Look and listen. I hope you have a good time on vacation. I hope for more money in my job. He hopes for a new car. They hope they will speak good English. She hopes that she has children after she gets married. They hope that you are healthier tomorrow. Read and repeat. Let's talk about things that might not happen or things that are imaginary. Sometimes we want things, but we know that they're not realistic. We know that we can't really have them or they are imaginary. For these kinds of things, we can use wish. A wish is something that we hope for, but we know that we probably won't get them or it's only something that we can imagine. Let me teach you a wish we make on the very first star we see at night. Okay, star 
light, star bright. I wish, I may, I wish, I might. Have the wish, I wish tonight. So starlight, star bright, I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish, I wish tonight. You can make this wish only when there is one star in the sky. Some people cross their fingers like this to make the wish stronger because they believe that if you say it out loud, your wish won't come true. Now let's learn about using the verb to wish. Today we will talk only about wishes for the future and imaginary situations. First, we can wish for something like we saw with hope. Take a look. We wish for peace. Unfortunately, in this world, there's always something somewhere that's not peaceful. So this wish will probably not come true. The very special thing about using the verb wish is that when we use a dependent clause, the verb in that clause is in a special form, normally the simple past form. We use the simple past to show the difference between reality and non-reality, to show that the situation is just a wish. Okay, here is an example. I wish I could speak Chinese. I might be able to speak Chinese in the future, but right now I can't. Maybe I have a Chinese friend and I want to speak with him or her, therefore I make this wish. Here is another example. I wish that I could fly. This means that I want to have the ability to fly, but I don't believe it's possible. It is only an imaginary situation. When we make a wish, we can use that or we can leave it out, but the sentences mean the same. I wish I could fly or I wish that I could fly. Here is one more example. I wish there were peace in the world. Notice that we say there were. This is the very special use of the verb to be in the simple past because we're using wish. It shows that there isn't peace in the world, but you want there to be. Okay, here is another example of the verb to be using wish. I wish I were rich. This means that I am not rich, but I want to be rich. Again, we use were, not was, when we make a wish. Every time we use wish, we use were. It doesn't matter which pronoun we use. We always use were with wish. Let's look at our list again, and then we can practice. So this is our list of imaginary situations or things that might not happen. Peace. Clean water. Clean air. Fly like a bird. Win the lottery. Be famous. Now this is a short list, so let's see if we can add to it. We already did peace, so Linda, you see if you can add something to this list. Remember to make the verb in the dependent clause in the past. Okay. I wish I could be a millionaire. Good one. I wish I could be a millionaire too. Okay, Alberto, you give us a wish. Mm, I wish I could play football for the national team. Okay, good one. Sylvia? Uh, I wish I could go back in history to meet Christopher Columbus. Oh, very good. Of course, you know you can't do that. Now, let's practice the other ideas left on our list. Alberto, you do one. Mm, I wish we could have a, a clean air. Yes, we all wish for clean air. Unfortunately, it is difficult, especially in cities. Now, Linda, you do one. I wish we could have clean water. Good. Yes, we are making our earth very dirty, aren't we? Do you have any more wishes, Alberto? Yes, I wish I were famous. Really? What about you, Sylvia? I wish that I could fly. 
Yes, I wish that I could fly too and be free. Let's hear you wish on the star. Sylvia, you start. Starlight, star bright, I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish uh, I wish tonight, I wish I were home in my bed right now. <laughs> well, you aren't home in bed, <laughs> you are here <laughs> in English class. <laughs> okay, Linda, you wish on the star. Okay, starlight, star bright, I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. I wish I could speak English like my teacher. Wow, well soon you will speak English better. Alberto, you wish on the star. Okay. Starlight, star bright, I wish I may, I wish I might. Have the wish, I wish tonight, I wish I could meet Cindy Crawford. <laughs> Great, well maybe if you become famous, who knows? Very good everyone. Now I wish we could look and listen. Look and listen. We wish we could be with you now. I wish you were here. You wish we could be there. Alberto and Linda wish there were peace in the world. He wishes that he could meet Cindy Crawford. They wish they could speak English. Read and repeat. Okay, remember when we talked about sentence structure? We talked about how to use connecting words. Connecting words like and, but, so, and because. Okay, so we use and to give additional information. We use but to show contrast, so opposite ideas or information. We use so to talk about results. And we use because to talk about reasons. So and for additional information, but to show contrast, so for results, and because for reasons. Here are some examples using these connecting words. She hopes to get married and she wants two children. He wishes he could buy a new car, but he doesn't have any money. I hope to go to America, so I am going to get a passport. We wish we could speak English because English is very important. Notice that with and, but, and so, we usually use a comma before the connecting word. When we use because, we don't use a comma when it comes as the second part of the sentence. Now, let's practice by using and, but, so, because. So you're going to, going to fill in the blanks using one of these words. Okay. I wish I could live in England. Mm -hmm. I don't speak English. Okay, Linda, which connecting word should we use? Uh, we use but. I wish I could live in England, but I don't speak English. Very good. I wish I could live in England, but I don't speak English. All right, Alberto, you can try this one. I hope to be a doctor 
Mm-hmm. I am studying medicine. I hope to be a doctor, so I am studying medicine. Good. I hope to be a doctor, so I am studying medicine. Next example. I am studying medicine. Mm-hmm. I hope to be a doctor. Sylvia. I am studying medicine because I hope to be a doctor. Very good. I am studying medicine because I hope to be a doctor. Excellent. Who wants to try the last one? I wish I were a millionaire. Mm -hmm. I wish I could live in a big house. Yes, Alberto, do you want to try? Yes. I wish I were a millionaire and I wish I could live in a big house. Very good. I wish I were a millionaire and I wish I could live in a big house. Okay, this is very good, very good. Now I wish we could all look and listen. Look and listen. He wishes he could fly because he doesn't like traffic. Linda wishes for peace and she wishes it could come soon. Sylvia is tired because she is studying a lot these days. Alberto hopes for a new car so he can drive quickly. The teacher hopes all his students study hard so they speak good English soon. Read and repeat. Listen and write. Now I hope you know it's time to listen and write. Listen to the sentences and write them down. I hope I will travel around the world next year. She wishes that she could win the lottery. We hope we pass our exams because they are very important. They hope they have a holiday soon because they are working very hard. He hopes to get a good job so he is studying English. I wish I were on holiday. He wishes that he could swim like a fish. She wishes she could meet Tom Cruise. He hopes to buy a new car next year. We wish we could visit our friends in America but it is very expensive. Now check your work. I hope I will travel around the world next year. She wishes that she could win the lottery. We hope we pass our exams because they are very important. They hope they have a holiday soon because they are working very hard. He hopes to get a good job, so he is studying English. I wish I were on holiday. He wishes that he could swim like a fish. She wishes she could meet Tom Cruise. He hopes to buy a new car next year. We wish we could visit our friends in America, but it is very expensive. Now, read the story and then answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Mark's brother is a student at the university. He is studying hard because he hopes he will be a doctor after he graduates. The subjects are very difficult, so he spends all his free time at the library. He wishes that he could have more free time, but he knows that is not possible now. After he graduates, he hopes he will get married. 
and after he gets married, he hopes he will have children. Like most people, he sometimes wishes that he were rich and that he could buy a big house near the sea. He also has a dream wish about traveling around the world. He wishes he could visit every country because he is interested in other cultures, but he knows that this is not possible at the moment. His brother hopes that he works hard and that his dreams come true. He also wishes that he could help his brother, but he is too busy. Now answer the questions. Who is a student at the university? Why is he studying so hard? What does he wish he could have more of? What does he hope he will do after he gets married? What does he sometimes wish? What is his dream? Why does he want to travel to every country? What does he hope he will do after he graduates? What does his brother hope? What does his brother wish? Now check your answers. Who is a student at the university? Mark's brother is a student at the university. Why is he studying hard? He hopes he will be a doctor. What does he wish he could have more of? He wishes that he could have more free time. What does he hope he will do after he gets married? He hopes he will have children. What does he sometimes wish? He sometimes wishes that he were rich and he could buy a big house near the sea. What is his dream? He has a dream about traveling around the world. Why does he want to travel to every country? He is interested in other cultures. What does he hope he will do after he graduates? He hopes to get married. What does his brother hope? His brother hopes that he works hard and that his dreams come true. What does his brother wish? His brother wishes that he could help him. All right, see you next time. Practicing English. Ooh, ugh. Angie, what is wrong with you? You are usually such a high energy person. You look a mess today. Jack, I am a mess. I have major entrance exams coming up for my master's degree. I'm really worried about it. I was up until 4 a.m. last night. I couldn't sleep. Oh, no. I am sorry. That's terrible. But that's not all. What else is going on, Angie? I have too much work at school and my part time job. And now my parents are complaining that I never call them. I know what you mean. You're not alone. It's been the same for me lately. What? Keeping up with my computers, my part time jobs, tests all over the place. It can be overwhelming. Yeah, it's the same for me. I guess we are just in a busy time of our lives. People say that being young is the greatest time of our life. I think it's the busiest. I hope it doesn't get any busier than this. Hmm. You might be right. We have to make so many important decisions now, things that will affect our future. It's pretty stressful. I wish I could just get everything to stop, just for a week so I could catch up. Of course, I wish I could sleep for the first three days and then work for the next four on schoolwork. That would be excellent. Yeah, imagine a whole week to yourself. No commitments, no deadlines, no papers due. What do you wish for, Alexei? Well, I wish for a week off too, but I wish for other things、mm. as well. Like what? Well, if we're wishing for things, here's、mm. my list. I like this. The man has a list of wishes. Go on. Well, 
Instead of wishing for more hours in the day to get things done, I wish I could manage my time better. What do you mean exactly? Well, I don't always manage my time well. I don't get started early enough on my responsibilities. I understand that. I do that too. So, I wish I could manage my time better, so I don't always feel so rushed to get things done. Hmm, I wish I was organized too. Yes, I think this is a problem for all of us. Okay, guys, we all have the same problem. What should we do about it? Well, I have an idea that I've seen my friend use at work. He has this day planner. It's like a calendar, but each day has each page has a day written on it, and you write the things you need to do. Okay, this sounds good to me. I've read before that people are ten times more likely to do something once they've written it down. Yes, I believe that. If it's written down, I'm more likely to do it. It feels good to complete the task and cross it off when I finish it. Well, I think we have the solution. Besides wishing for a week off in the Bahamas, I think we should get going on this idea and get some day planners. Let's all try it for a week or two. And see if it helps us take care of our responsibilities. Okay, why don't we get them today and get started? I really want to see if we can make this solution work. I hope it works because it seems kind of easy. Okay, but I have a question first. Yes, Angie. I wish I could join you for buying these new day planners, but I have to sleep for the rest of the afternoon. Well, no problem. Why don't we get you one this afternoon? I hope you sleep well, and I hope you stop worrying so much. Mm.